And this is going to be something to keep an eye on as we get into our final game of the day. As it stands, the United Kingdom do lead the leaderboard, 62 points to the 46 of Finland. So a 16 point gap going into match number five. We'll see how that all translates at the end of the day. Five seconds away from our circle to get us underway here for match number oh, five. Please. And we go up towards Al Pozzo, up to the very far northwest. Uh, and they're gonna get the res safely. Meanwhile, Oz still has kind of a weird situation up here. They've got Thailand now rotating ahead of them, but there isn't a ton of space that the circle's like likely to go to eventually. They're gonna have to play it. Brazil haven't actually moved yet either. They're gonna hold their position and hopefully it pays off for them. It does, at least with one kill. On to Janku, they'll get a freebie for Brazil. 43 points for them now, obviously one team to keep an eye on. Balmoth gets caught as well by PHC and Brazil. Haven stays alive on 1 HP. He'll pop that full med kit and they continue to rack up the points. Nice little spot here though where you can kind of just see the way the terrain shapes further down. It gives them a spot where they can just pull up for the time being inside of the circle and no one can really see them. A reprieve and they didn't lose anyone on the drive down so it works out well for Bax. Hello, it's China. Shaolu immediately sat down though. The United Kingdom just continued to frag. Doesn't matter what country you throw at them, they find a way. And Aixleth has blown himself up as well. He's going to have to get smoked and hopefully saved if China is going to have anything happen for them this game. You've got to get him back up. Well, Canada looking to maybe help out the United Kingdom. Adam with a quick one-two punch onto Aixleth and Ming Ming. And Aixleth is in a awful position. Considering he's also double knocked, he's going to bleed out. So it's going to be only two up for China. It continues to be a rather difficult day. I, I think Adam, oh, he was already double knocked. I didn't need to throw that, but oh, wow, oh my God. fights are kicking off everywhere. We've got Germany and Indonesia squaring off. Grenades here from Xiaofian as he tries to get the finish onto Mars. That's good enough. That should be job done. Yeah, Xiaofian has been able to really be a thorn in the side of the United Kingdom in this particular game. We see the end of Germany. It's Indonesia that has been able to pick up those kills. Final nade there for Xiaofian. It's Ooh. a perfect nade! On to the heads of T-Bone and Vard. It's been a special day for the United Kingdom, but it might come to an early close. Oh, and man, you've got a Groza in Ming Ming's hands as well. Let's see if China can make something out of this to kind of snowball some more kills in this fight. Meanwhile, Canada has been moved out of the circle, so this initial hold they had onto the UK and the China, it's going to have to change a bit. Australia continues to try to maneuver onto the north side of the circle. Things get more and more difficult as they go again. There's still some high ground left in the western part of this circle. Xavier, Chinese Taipei, they've been able to hold out this northwest position and not really get bothered by mainly the fact that everyone in El Pozo is fighting each other. Talk about nades, it goes back the other way. What was once the savior for China, uh, for China ends up being their downfall. Smash down, courtesy of Niles. Bit of a frag for Indonesia, but he goes to Lyron on the stairs. Don't think he was anticipating the Turkish player to be that close. And only Teddy remains for Indonesia. Five kills for them, though, and a decent little game to close out day one. And he pulls out the sword off shotgun, and he puts it to good use on the sweat bar, making six kills. Oh, Teddy! A oh. quick snap headshot onto the stair player of Lyron. Indonesia's up to Seven. What a play from Teddy there. I mean, it looked like he was basically down and out and just running in there to see if he could maybe salvage something out of that. Meanwhile, Australia just getting corralled at the backside of this rock. Again, the overwatch that Chinese Taipei and Brazil is able to bring on this. How are these Korean players still alive? I cannot believe that they still have both players up. Australia needs a northern shift, or Brazil needs a, a southern shift, really. And we're about to get it here for phase six. Nurens now for Thailand. Catch soul on the backside. We go to Alpozo on top of Japan. Korea's gone. Bit of help, Vietnam, Thailand have become friends in an inconvenient time. 11 teams, 35 alive, and we've almost reached the 23rd minute. Chloe is just outside the concrete building of Thailand. They've got one kill, they've still got their star player alive, and at this point, with this kind of finish, this kind of circle, anything can happen, Paper. This is gonna be tough now for Team Thailand, as, as happy as I am to see that big moment for them. They're gonna have to battle a couple of different teams. They're gonna have to make a cross against some dangerous terrain. Meanwhile, somehow, Australia has recovered. They still have all four up, and now they're getting knocks on the Chinese Taipei. They have to push it. They have have to wipe out Chinese Taipei, then push into El Pozo. Brazil finally on the move. Malroch and Yan Li meeting the demise, courtesy of the nade of Luke 12. That should be enough for Australia to find the kills. They spot the last player of Chinese Taipei and surely cannot make it out alive. Savior falls to Monty. 
It's 11th for Chinese Taipei, and it's Brazil pushing on to Thailand, and they are going to make quick work of the duo of Nurens and Esquilusia. They still get a round of applause, though, from the local crowd to close out the day. Nine teams remain, and this is where I probably expect it to slow down a little bit. Speaking of good opportunities, with the United Kingdom going out relatively early, paper, it's a great opportunity. Brazil, Finland, Australia, Vietnam, even maybe the likes of Canada, Indonesia, to really rack up the points, close out the day, and close that gap in the United Kingdom. I'm really curious about this rotation here from Australia, trying to get on the other side of these vehicles. Now there's like a, oh, that's not, not enough it. of a plateau. That's not it. Unfortunately for Australia, it hasn't quite worked out for them. They had a tough track, didn't they? Up the North Circle didn't help them out, and they fall quickly. But Honestly, what's worse is they're feeding a direct competitor in Brazil who now move up into second place on the overall standings. So down to nine teams. It uh, has come to a bit of a quiet point. Teddy with a nade. He's only got the one, but it could do so much damage if it catches a couple of members of Canada. He's flashed momentarily, pulled out the sword off shotgun, which already got him a kill earlier, and it might get him another one. He lands a second shot, headshot at the chip point. Away! There's a second tag out the window. It's like James Bond. And then the nade! It oh. could be so detrimental for Canada! Shinboy crawl! Crawl as fast as you can! And he does! They get Teddy, and they get their players alive. Man, I thought Teddy might pull off another miracle there. Meanwhile, Japan trying to defend against Finland. Now, I talked Japan up in their defensive maneuvers. Let's see if they can get it done here. It, you know, tons of utility being exchanged on both sides, but no significant damage done either way. Finland have been able to show their prowess too. Fighting late game, we've seen that, especially even in match number four. Martinson with a knockdown onto Sparking. Talk about rivalries there. Argentina, Brazil. They need to get Sparking back up. Brazil also need to push into El Pozo. And it's time for Japan to get their hands dirty here and fight off Finland. Not inside of the circle, so Finland have to keep moving through these smokes. And of course, at any moment, you've got to check every single corner. You don't know where Japan's going to be holding. And Diggory has one in front of him, both literally directly outside his window and on the other side of it. King goes down. That's correct. See, Finland get that first initial knock, and that will help things. They can now push forward with more numbers than Japan. Polly with a good angle, and he's not through Karaxi. Quick double. Paint pushes through Finland. I'm just storming through Japan. Good night. And hello to Finland. Well, Kane tried to make a maneuver there with the shotgun to get up close and personal. See if he can do some serious damage, but he was caught through the smokes. He was seen before he saw anybody from Finland, and he paid the price. Now, Vietnam still three up inside of this warehouse, but again, these are tough to hold down. Uh, hello, Tiggleton on the edge of the circle. Hope he's having a good time. Uh, and just really, he's, he, he's got a crate as well right next to him. He could use that for cover, then a tree. He could do the little dance, maybe. If everyone's just watching, especially considering Brazil are getting taken apart. Sparking's gone. He's out of here. Vietnam now up to five kills, 37 overall points, and they are keeping in touch with that top five. Exactly. Nade. Oh, Tinkleton. Hello. Tinkleton. He gets the knock on to Paige. Does he have a way to impact oh. this? I think he will. Shinboy steals it. Nade, though, lands from Claw, who's onto the head of VHC. And at the same time, Tiggery got thinner. It's all kicking off between all six teams. Yeah, okay. Now, Turkey has been eliminated into sixth place. And Canada struggling to try to get to these reses. But Mexi doing a good job being up close to personal. Again, watching for anybody to come out of the smoke. And he's going to get another one here. He got a flush. Make it two. It's only Keenan that's left, and that smoke is dissipating right into the eyes of Finland. Three teams left. Somehow, Tiggleton gets to the top three for Australia, Vietnam, and then Finland. Lo and behold, of course, it's our same top six sort of kind of teams that we've had all tournament long. Now, down to Vietnam and Finland here for the standoff of our final game of day one. There is nobody out here who Chloris. has any clue. Chloris. Let's see if he can get something done with this pump. He might have heard Mexi coming through the door. Well, I just wonder, maybe Chloris is holding that sort of backside, expecting a flank to come through like we're seeing from Mexi, and he could then be the one to play spoil. Sapau could actually maybe a chance, and then what? Sapau did find the headshot onto Mexi. Quick little double, though. Sapau, Chloris down. It's only Haisaki left. Now, in a one versus two, but he's on the outside with the fence, and he knows that Finland both of their players on the inside. Do they go for the revive onto Mexi? There is a smoke up, but it will be dissipating. Haisaki, no nades, no Molotov. Not much of a chance to really push in, but an interesting angle through the fence line. Yeah, and he's afraid to go for the flush because that will reveal his position or, you know, at least give them an opportunity because he's going to have to peek through. So Diggory is going to finish off Chloris. And you can watch through those angles. They're a bit tough to shoot through. 
through. Maxi's just going to crawl forward and try to be a distraction. At least sacrifices the point over to Hisaki. And they get the information now as well. Hisaki immediately tagged as well by Diggory. Finland on the verge of back-to-back -back victories to close out day one. He'll have a sip of that energy drink, but the Molotov lands, and that should be enough. The pressure, they know it's landed. They push. They shouldn't mess this one up, and they certainly don't. Finland will take top spot at the conclusion of day one of the PUBG Nations Cup 2022. Take my mind or die for less, y'all. I pray my dick get big as the apple time. So I can fuck my world for 72 hours.